I'd be remiss if I didn't ask this question because I know my audience wants to know, and it's in no way a jab at you, but in okay. uh, in X Men Origins Wolverine, what happened to Deadpool? Well, again, that's the whole reason I quit. So that's why I'm telling you this entire thing. Okay. I'll tell you exactly what happened is they they didn't want to listen. Uh, and, the and, only and, reason the only reason he gets his mouth back to I'll give you a little history. Yeah. Okay. I at New Line. I didn't work on Blade 3, but Cale Boyer, who was a close friend of mine there, the executive and I, would just always swap ideas around. So as it happened, I got Triple H put in that movie, and Ryan Reynolds, who was sort of a new line kind of grown guy, and I just happened to get to know each other. Okay. And so Ryan Reynolds, and who has become, a, you know, been friends with for a while, and David Goyer, who was directing Blade 3, and I, basically looking at the fact that Ryan was stealing Blade 3, the premise became, all right, the right character for Ryan is Deadpool. Mm -hmm. He is tailor-made to be that character. Oh, yeah, he it's felt like Deadpool close. in Blade. It's, it was so it, similar. It's just perfect. It's it is. Ryan is. Ryan's not Green Lantern. He's fucking Deadpool. Oh, so, thank yeah. God. Thank you so much for saying that. Uh, and so uh, I get hired at Fox. Mm -hmm. And now, again, we try to do it at New Line, and they decide instead of doing Deadpool, they want to make the Night Stalkers, which would have been the direct Blade sequel. Sure. Project never ends up going anywhere and falls apart. But Ryan falls in love with the character and just wants to do it. And so I go to Fox. And I'm hired at Fox, and I'm told that Wolverine is going to be a $70 million, almost R-rated uh, 70s revenge movie. That was what I was hired to come in and do. Mm -hmm. I was also told I was going to be making Marvel Civil War the movie. Oh, the my way. God. <laughs> All right, so we get there, and basically what ends up happening is – they decide that by virtue of the writer strike and where the release date would have to, it was going to go from originally being like a, a winter release to then a summer release, mm -hmm. that now it has to be this like X-Men 4 hybrid. So suddenly yeah. they're saying we want Gambit in it, we want Emma Frost, even though it doesn't make any sense, etc. <laughs> so when they start coming down to the villain stuff, uh, originally I want to say like Sabretooth was always in it, but I, I think there was like a clone element or some shit when mm -hmm. I first started. Um, but basically they... Deadpool, the idea was always, okay, Ryan Reynolds is a good friend of mine. I can get him to come in for like two or three days, shoot this thing off as a cameo, and then you do the Deadpool movie and it's a no-brainer, yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. They decided they like the Deadpool name. And oh, that's it. God. They, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, they clearly created a character's yes. abilities around a so name. So we're sitting there, Kevin Feige and myself mm -hmm. and Derek Hoffman, who works for Dick Donner's company, going, guys – you're leaving so much money. It's like buying the WCW uh, library, uh, bringing it into WWE, and then not hiring Goldberg and Dallas Pay and the guys yep. that meant that Ric Flair and the guys that would have made it work. Mm -hmm. We're sitting there going, like, you're leaving money on the table. If you want to go take, like, a Meg Omega Red or whoever and do that, great. That and so cool. they, they just ultimately didn't want to listen. And so it literally came down to them going like, we don't want a guy talking in the middle of the fight. That's cheesy. And I'm like, well, that's every action movie ending <laughs> ever. And it almost became a thing about obstinance to be like, we're going to show you that the the uh, we're right, the comic fans are wrong, uh. and it, it doesn't matter. And so in a fit of irony, I'm sitting here and I'm still sitting on the location watching all of this stuff go on and, and ultimately came back and quit almost immediately because I knew the Deal. I'm not going to mm -hmm. sit there and go, uh, yeah. guys, the name of the, the character under his name on the book says the Merc with a Mouth. <laughs> yeah. God sakes, you think I don't know? <laughs> so, uh, I get, and more importantly, I get Ryan to do this as a favor. Ryan's yeah. doing this for like no money. You have no idea. Okay. In the middle of shooting two other movies, might I add, wow. uh, because he's passionate about doing it. And might I add, when he's doing the stuff in the first act of the movie, he steals his shit. He's great. Oh, yeah. oh absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's some of the it's some of the stuff that works in the movie. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I'll tell you as a funny story. So I get up and I, I and you know and basically we have a meeting at a point in time in Australia. Just to give you a quick example, where um, there's like six of us in a trailer, and the head of the studio has come down, who is the big opponent of making Deadpool talk. And uh, I'm trying to describe to him like why this is going to have a, a fallout, and he says, No, 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 no. This is exactly how we deal with it. You'll love this. And this is what was pitched. <laughs> Uh, Wolverine walks to the door, door opens, it's like the Darth Maul reveal, and it's Deadpool, but he's got no mouth, right? And Wolverine looks at him and he says, gee, Wade, guess you're the merc without a mouth now. Oh, wah, wah, wah. They're going to love it. <laughs> oh, so I'm oh like, we're God. fucked. Right? And so, <laughs>